Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen on Monday, the 25th of January, and this is Corin Vlog number 144. Let's talk about blacktop and plowing. See my my vest here, sealing and plowing. That's a company in upstate New York, and my mother found this in. She uh, volunteers at a. Uh, used clothing store and she got this for me so I have a nice warm insulated vest although I probably could use something covering my sleeves right now in this weather um, but it's making me think about this parking lot which we expect will get some snow very soon and uh, which means it will need to be plowed and we have halter company plowing here see this pole right here um, we have four poles on this plot that were just put by the boyers. This is the one that they they maintain, and oh boy, this one got really messed up with the last plowing because the plows didn't know where the plots were. And uh, um, so anyway, they put that in, and I have it on good authority that our facilities committee will be out here putting poles on all of these plots later on today. And it's just an important part, and we kind of forgot about it this year for a little bit. Um, what I learned was that uh, Mark Sittler often does it, but someone had removed the poles and he didn't know where they were, and we still don't know, so I think they're buying new poles. Anyway, um, crisis averted and problem solved, and there'll be poles out here, because we're supposed to have snow coming in about one o'clock this morning, and that will close things up, but you know what? Splash is already closed. I have some sad news. One of our Splash part-time students, she's only here a couple days a week, but she was tested positive Friday for for COVID, and so she has to stay home, and all the kids and all the staff from Splash now have to stay home from school or from work, and um, fortunately, Ms. Marlene had not seen that student, hadn't been in since Tuesday morning last week, so she's in the clear, but that means we have to close until February 4th. So let's keep in our prayers our students and our staff that now have to stay home, and for staff that, that affects their income, and for students that affects their being in school, especially our elementary students, where you know that being there in person is so much more important. But even more important is keeping people safe. Um, by the way, we just learned that Tony, the husband of Sarah Lambert, who is our uh, financial secretary, he just tested positive, so she is self-quarantining for a couple weeks, and I am glad, in a very selfish way, she just got paychecks out this past Friday, and uh, in fact, she was here almost every day. I, I was here working a little bit late on Sunday after church, and she came in after her church service. Sunday a week ago because this is the end of the month where we do a lot of our um, end of year uh, that, that she sent out the financial statements you should have gotten yours along with a stewardship letter from our finance and stewardship committee and uh, she does the w-2s and things like that so she was working very hard last week um, so now she'll be away for a little bit so this COVID it's affecting all sorts of people in different ways Let's see, um, you've heard that Robert Custer, what an interesting man, interesting character. He had been a semi-pro football player. I loved visiting him, and he passed away Wednesday last week, talked with his widow, Carol. We still do not have a date and a time for, uh, for a service for him, but we'll let you know when that gets worked out. There's some things that have to be figured out. And there's still a full-size bed available if you, are interested or know of someone that could use one just call the church office and we'll put you in touch with the family with that and our scripture today is part of what I'll be preaching on next Sunday which is be careful however that the exercise of your rights does not become a stumbling block for the weak and that comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. It's part of a larger passage I'll be preaching about. Don't be a stumbling block. It's about being a servant to others. And I'll sing a song about being a servant in just a, a little bit. Um, let us pray. Lord God, we pray for our sister in Christ, Diana Joseph, who we know 
is having surgery for her cancer in Philadelphia today. We thank you that a ride to and a ride from the cancer center has been worked out for her. We pray the surgery would go well and that you would be with her, giving her strength and bringing her healing. Thank you for the wisdom and the experience you've given her surgeon to be prepared for this time. We also pray for Sarah and her husband, Tony. We pray for the student in Splash and for all of our um, students and staff that are self-quarantining. We pray for all the people uh, in our that we're connected with who have or have been affected by COVID-19. We pray for an end for it. We thank you for the vaccine being out. We pray that more people will be able to get it soon. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. By the way, I spent quite a bit of time last Friday uh, talking with a colleague that I know got the shot and trying to figure out through those avenues how I as a pastor could also get one and then I just came to some dead ends. So I, I hope that soon I'll be able to get one and I know that some other people in our congregation are starting to get them. I'm so glad and uh, we pray for a time when, when it is covered enough that we don't have to worry about it. The song is one that will be our introit this coming Sunday. So I was just working on the bulletin for Sunday that uh, usually Martha works on Sunday afternoons after the service. Now she starts her thinking about the next one and she looks at the notes I've sent her and starts to put those together. And, and I'll look at those and I'll start to put things together for my notes and my order and uh, usually have a smile on my face as I appreciate things that she's working out. And uh, this one is called Make Me a Servant. Make me a servant, humble and meek. Lord, let me lift up those who are weak. And may the prayer of my heart always be Make me a servant, make me a servant, make me a servant today. The other song I almost recorded was Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. And in fact, if it is snowing tomorrow morning when I get up, and if it's a good background, I will record outdoors. I'll record that song, which we think of as a Christmas song, but it's really a song about snow. And otherwise, keep safe and keep warm tomorrow, whatever is going on. And um, I think that's all. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Yeah, we're going to do, I'm going to host a town hall meeting for the church on Wednesday at 6 o'clock. I'll be sharing a, um, a link about that. And it will be kind of a practice run for what we'll be doing with the season of, of Lent as we get together and interact on Zoom. And so look for the link on Wednesday, we'll share that, and we invite you to be a part of what we're doing. God bless you, and I'll see you later.